Comedy of Pioneer Underground, Mike. It's like a tradition. Yeah, I'm excited. A new comic today. April yes. Fool's weekend, huh? Oh, perfect day to go to the but, comedy But I club. am really here, though. Make sure they know. You are? That. It's not April Fool's joke. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. I'm awake at 8 in the morning. Reno's own cave on. What's going on, man? Hey, I'm doing good, and we're doing the show at the Pioneer Underground. So if you want to see me at the underground level, now's your chance, because pretty soon we're going to be above ground. I can tell. You're moving on I'm up. I'm moving up. Beautiful. I'm going to be at sea level in no time. Beautiful, man. So welcome home, right? Oh, it's great. Yeah, I'm from Reno, Nevada. Then I moved to Vegas, and then I moved back to Reno for college. But I stopped in Lovelock to pick up these guns <laughs> at the prison. These, these big biceps, which are great for radio. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. It's a visual medium. Yeah. It, was it tough to get a comedy start out of the Reno market? Absolutely. Uh, I was in a fraternity called the Sigma Alpha Epsilon, or Sigma Alpha Everybody, and uh, <laughs> they think they're the funniest. So I made sure not to start in Reno. Because if you start your little baby bird dream in Reno with them, like, you suck, bro. I'm funnier than you. you know? <laughs> they drink beer and throw it at you. So I made sure to move to L.A. and start my career as an unknown person there. Seriously? Yeah, and get decent before I came back to Reno. Because my friends, they will, they're will they not they are not nice people. Do they come to your shows? <laughs> now, and they're like, I'm still funnier than you, but that was pretty good, man. <laughs> <laughs> good to be home, though, right? It's great. I've been, I got a season pass to squat this year and i skied Ooh, about 12 times nice yeah, that's a lot for a guy from la yeah. getting it in every time you're up here visiting yeah pretty much yeah. 12 times more than i skied because i don't ski <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get up there yeah. man put you on a snowboard no no, no no i'm i'll play i'll be on the golf course if you're looking for me I'll that's where, that's where you're I, gonna find me i was talking to uh, my buddy i said drew you know why uh women and men they do things like like men we don't like fishing but we know women hate it worse so we like to get out there and get some quiet time. Like golf is the most frustrating game ever, but we know you won't probably want to play with us. Eighteen holes, none of them talking back. We love it. No, and my, and my wife goes and rides around the cart, and you like you hit one of the weeds, and she's like, "Are you supposed to do that?" <laughs> shut up! Shut up! This game sucks already. I don't need you. I, I like to take girls miniature golfing. And, and then go get those little jello shooters. And at the end of the date, when I pulled out my pants, she goes, It's small. I'm like, We've been doing small stuff all day. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, man. Very nice. So we, need to, we travel all around the country, obviously. Uh, all over the nation and uh, and Canada. So I'm international now. Yes. Yeah, Vaughn, K Vaughn. <laughs> K Vaughn, good to meet you, man. Me Have too. a great set this weekend, brother. Uh, I can't wait. You guys got to come down, too. We will. Yes, we'll try to do that perfect. this weekend. All right, Michael, let's take a look outside. Go see K Vaughn this weekend. Weekend, huh?